Hello, in this uh, video I want to show you how to add heading styles to your document. And you can see here I've got just a sample document and I've got an introduction heading right here and if I scroll down in the document I'm going to see a second heading right here in the document and then finally on the last page I've got a conclusion heading right here. And what we want to do is we want to format each one of these headings with a heading style. That way screen readers can um, correctly um, understand the structure of your document. Now in creating using styles, it's going to be a three-step process. The first step is going to be setting up the text that you want to become the style. The second step is going to be applying the heading label to that style and then going ahead and applying the style to everywhere else in the document that needs it. So let's go ahead and get started. Again the first thing is to set up the text the way you want it to appear. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight my first heading right here and I'm going to go ahead and increase the font size a little bit here. I'm going to make sure that it's bold and I'm going to take the color and change it to maybe this, uh, this darker blue color right here. Oh, that looks good. So now that heading looks a little bit different than the others do. Now I'm going to go ahead and define this style as heading 1. And I'm going to do that by highlighting the entire line and then coming up to my style section right here. And you'll see I've got heading 1, heading 2, and heading 3. Now they already have predefined styles or formatting attributes associated with them. So what we're going to do is we're going to override those defaults for this document with the style that we created right here, the formatting attributes that we're using there. So I have this highlighted. I'm now going to go ahead and right click on heading 1 there. And you're going to say update heading 1 to match selection. So heading 1 is now going to match what I have highlighted. So I'll go ahead and click that, and Heading 1 now appears like that. So now I can go ahead and scroll down and continue to apply my heading style. There's the second heading in the document, so I'll highlight that. And I'll go ahead and click Heading 1, and you'll see that style was applied to that text there. I'll scroll down a little bit more and highlight the conclusion. And I'll go ahead and click on Heading and now that style has been associated with that piece of text. So now screen readers can understand the structure or organization of your document and you can also use these headings to create a table of contents if you want. And We'll see how to do that in another video. So that's really quickly how you create and apply heading styles.